So what do we make of this? If you're a, if you're a player and your teammates do something like this and the situation is as it was at the weekend, how do you react? Did you start by saying it's a light story? Yeah, exactly. I was being I was being facetious. Sorry, I, I this is the point, um, Andrew. So I just sat back in my seat and go like that. Never did. <laughs> I just ignored the rest after that. Um, Sorry, yeah, yeah I just it's, winded it's a you up. It, it, <laughs> yeah, it's a difficult one because kind of everyone's kind of suffering at the moment. Everyone's going through the same thing, and that's before I start talking about football and the, the position Leicester are in. Um, so that yeah, I'd definitely be angry, disappointed. They've let their club down. They've obviously let their their, their fellow players down. Um, going into such an important game against West Ham, which is pivotal to yourselves getting the Champions League football, and you just do something needless. Like things are opening back up soon anyway. Just just wait a few weeks until it's legal, and you can do it without having to put phones in a in a bag and kind of try and keep it a secret. Because nowadays in football, with the media and what have you with people trying to trip up footballers you're never going to host a party and get away with it there's always going to be somebody who's going to be looked to exploit you and and sell something to the newspapers and that's exactly what happened so yeah it, it was wrong what they did they were rightly punished and unfortunately Leicester paid for it on on, on the weekend mm -hmm. against West Ham but yeah it's done now and hopefully they can move on and get their season back on track they won't be the only ones. There, there are lots of cases of things like this happening at the moment during lockdown, people breaking rules. Um, they are the ones that got caught. How long do you think it takes to win back the trust of, of your manager? Because they've got such an important game this weekend. They're in the FA Cup semi-final. I think they've been punished. Um, they obviously did wrong. They were punished. They disrespected the manager. But I think now is the new week. If they get their heads down, if they train hard, I think they'll be straight back into that squad, providing they do get their heads down, they do apologise to the players, to the fans, to the general public and, and get back to, to playing football. I think they've been punished and they'll move on now.